revealing pictures of a deadly parking garage collapse at Miami Dade College. These are now part of the investigation into what went wrong, killing four people in October. The column without any cement eventually psh, collapses like a house of cards. Tonight, the Team 6 investigators break a story you'll see only on 6. You saw it first on 6 at 6. Now there is new information. Yeah, Team 6 investigator Willard Shepard has been looking into the collapse since it happened, and now he has these exclusive details. These are the pictures obtained exclusively by NBC6 South Florida that the lawyer for two of the family members killed in the parking garage collapse contends are key. Uh, Your Honor, the uh, columns in question for today's hearing are columns B2 and B3. Only NBC6 South Florida was there when Irvin Gonzalez, the lawyer for those who lost loved ones, put forward the pictures he says are at the heart of the collapse. Gonzalez and the lawyers for the construction companies who have been sued faced off to settle a dispute of how testing of the remaining portions of the columns at the construction site should be conducted. There was an accident to the column next to it. B3 didn't have any cement. B2 was hit by a crane. It shifted the entire building. So when it shifts the building, the column without any cement eventually psh, collapses like a house of cards and kills four men and injures many other people. Gonzalez told the judge the pictures here show columns at the parking garage that were properly grouted. Building experts told us once the columns went in, they were secured further by grouting to seal the columns and make them stronger. But Gonzalez says these photos show columns at the construction site that were not grouted, never further secured, and that made them weaker. And he told the judge that ultimately was behind the collapse that killed and injured workers and caused the school to be closed for a time. Uh, Meredith Cooper also on behalf of the design builder Ajax. Uh, Mr. Calderon is going to submit a formal protocol. The lawyers for general contractor Ajax and the subcontractors addressed the technical issues of how testing on the columns should move forward. But. Another source also exclusively told NBC6 South Florida that the columns under close scrutiny were either not grouted or it was not done properly. From Miami-Dade College, we obtained inspection reports done by the company hired to check the work as it went along. None of the reports we examined addressed the issue with grouting alleged by the family's lawyers. There are a lot of problems uh, with respect to not only the failure to have concrete, but how did this column pass threshold inspection. Gonzalez told us a photo like this one, showing a similar column at the construction site, flooded at the bottom with water, led inspectors not to be able to see that the grouting wasn't done. The construction company's attorneys chose not to comment on any of these allegations, and the court directed all of the parties involved to come up with a way quickly so that the columns out at the construction site can be tested. In downtown Miami, Willard Shepard, NBC6, South Florida. Now, Team 6 did reach out to the engineering company tonight. We're hearing, we're waiting to hear its response to these allegations. The federal government's official report on the cause of the collapse is expected next month.